What year is the hardest year in clinical psychology school? Is it the fourth year? Is it the third year, the second year, or the first year? In this video, we're gonna be talking about basically ranking the hardest to easiest years in clinical psychology. If that is what you are here for, then stay tuned. We will get this video started. What's up fam? If you're new to this channel, my name is Phil Sarpon. This is Phil's Guide to PsyD. This channel is dedicated to all things clinical psychology. If you are interested in psychology, if you care about self-care, or if you want a little bit of a sneak preview into what grad school might look like for you, then this is the channel for you. So we're gonna go right into this video in terms of ranking some of the hardest years to easiest years in clinical psychology school. Now, as you guys know, I am a second year clinical psychology doctoral student. And so I can only really kind of go off of what I've experienced so far, but also take away from some of the things that third years and fourth years have also mentioned as well. So this is just my personal opinion, but if you guys are looking into clinical psychology school and you're wondering what some of those harder years are going to be so that you can plan for them, then here we go. We're gonna go right into what I think is gonna be the hardest year. So we'll start with the hardest first and then we'll work our way down, all right? So in my opinion, the hardest year is the second year, guys. The second year, in my opinion, is the hardest year of clinical psychology school and there's a number of different reasons why first of all for me in the first year it was mainly just didactic courses it was mainly just classes that i was taking but now in my second year not only am i taking classes but i'm also doing a lot of my clinical experience as well so i could put in anywhere from 16 to 24 hours a week on also just my clinical experience while also taking classes and quizzes and exams and writing papers and doing presentations. My weekly schedule is pretty packed with a lot of stuff. And so because first year was so different, this has definitely been a huge adjustment for me in terms of going through my clinical psychology program. So that's one reason why the second year is pretty difficult. The other thing is that I'm really in the midst of my research. And so I'm doing a lot of research with my faculty members right now and I'm working on my dissertation. So that takes in also another additional amount of time. The other thing guys, is that now we are getting ready for our comprehensive exams. Most clinical psychology schools are gonna have what they call comp exams or comprehensive exams, where after the second year, you are basically going to take an exam that covers over your first and second year. So comp exams are a big deal because once you pass your comp exams, then you go into your third year and your fourth year, and you're basically halfway through the program. So there's a number of different things that students do to study for this comp exam. If you guys are interested in future videos, I can definitely take you through my process of studying for my comprehensive exams. But that's another thing that's added to the second year as well, right? So you have classes, you have clinical externship sites, you have comprehensive exams, you have research going on. There's a lot going on in the second year, which is why I would rank it as the hardest year of clinical psychology school. The next year that I'm gonna rank is going to be the fourth year. And the reason why is that a number of students get very overwhelmed and stressed out because the fourth year is when you are applying for internship. And so there's a number of different things that you're doing. You're going through all of these site applications. You're getting faculty members for writing you letters of recommendation. There's a lot going on as well as you're still doing classes and clinical sites. So the fourth year I would say is probably the next hardest just because it is very stressful going through that internship process. The thing that I want to mention about the fourth year too is that most people will defend their dissertation during this time. And that can be extremely stressful. As I've told you guys before, the dissertation is a long process. There's a number of different things that students have to do in order to prepare for their dissertation. And so defending the dissertation in the fourth year is really a big deal because when you have finally defended your dissertation, you can actually finally move into preparing for your internship. Most schools won't allow you to go into internship if you have not defended your dissertation yet. So that is something to think about in terms of how difficult the fourth year could be. The next year that I would go after that would be the third year. The third year for me in our program, 
we're gonna do something called professional qualifying exams. So these are a little bit different than the comprehensive exams. These are specific. Basically, the school is testing us in our clinical skills. It's really basically putting the skills that we've learned in psychology and putting them into practice. So a number of things that we've done in our clinical sites, now we are basically being graded and evaluated on our clinical skills. So the, the third year is really interesting because most of the times, most students will also really be working and focusing on their research. They'll be proposing their research. They might also be defending their research and their dissertation. So this is a, a big year. Third year is a big year because there's research, there's school, there's clinical sites, and then you're getting ready for your professional qualifying exams so that now you can go into your fourth year. So that's why I would put it next in terms of ranking, in terms of really getting ready for your fourth year. And the last year, guys, is the first year. Now, I the first year is not as easy as people think it is, even though we don't have to worry about clinical sites, there is a number of different things that's the first year that people have to worry about, which is basically you are now being introduced into a doctoral program. And so there's a lot of new things to learn. You're learning about your cohort members, you're learning about the faculty, you're learning about what research is, you're really for the first time learning about psychology in a way that is really practical and clinical in terms of the application. And so there's a number of things to basically adjust and transition that could make the first year a little bit difficult. But I did put it at the end of all the other years just because I know that really for the most part, the first year is really just focusing on the classes, at least for my program, all right? So just to sum it up, I would say the second year is the hardest because you're worrying about classes and clinical sites and research and comprehensive exams. The fourth year is probably the next hardest just because you are defending your dissertation as well as preparing for your internship. The third year is the next hardest because you are preparing for your professional qualifying exam as well as your research, proposing your research and your dissertation as well as all the other stuff with classes and clinical sites as well. And then finally the last year which I think is the easiest but still difficult in terms of all the things that you have to transition to in terms of basically being a doctoral student and you know writing papers that are doctoral level work and all of the things that you have to do in terms of building the relationships that you have with your faculty members and your students and so that adjustment can be difficult in itself all right so if you guys have any questions about the any of the years honestly for clinical psychology school Put it in the comment section below and I'll definitely take a chance to look into some of those questions. But if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you already haven't, and I will see you guys in the next video.